Hi, I'm Amy from East Bears, and in this video I'll be showing you how to identify and fix a Samsung American style fridge freezer that displays the error codes 1E, 5E or SE. Error codes are displayed on your fridge freezer's control panel and they're there to alert you if something's wrong with an appliance. So if yours is displaying the error code 1E, 5E or SE, this could be due to a problem with your fridge defrost sensor. The defrosting sensor communicates with the PCB to confirm that the defrosting process has taken place. But not to worry though if you do see any of these error codes because there's lots that you can do to fix them. Before we start, it's worth resetting the appliance first. Sometimes your fridge freezer will display an error code due to a system glitch. So to make sure this isn't what's causing the issue, reset your fridge freezer and you can do this by turning it off for one minute and then turning it back on again. For this repair, you're going to be needing a Phillips screwdriver and a small flathead screwdriver as well. Before you start, make sure your fridge freezer is fully disconnected from the mains power. As mentioned earlier, this error refers to the defrost sensor, which may result in a buildup of ice in your fridge chamber. Empty the shelves and drawers from the fridge and then you're ready to start removing the back panel. First, you need to pull away the two vent covers that sit on top of the two screws. The next thing to do is remove the water bottle that sits underneath the evaporator cover. You can do this by removing these two screws. Using a Phillips screwdriver, you can proceed to remove the four screws that are holding the cover in place. Then you can gently lift the cover away then you can release the two plugs that are holding the panel into place. If there's a buildup of ice, you're going to need to remove this with either a steamer or if you don't have one, a hairdryer to melt it. And here we can see the defrost sensor. If you need to purchase a new one, you're going to need to know your model number. So if you're not sure of your model number, you can take a look at our video up here where it'll explain how to find it and what you're looking for. Before you remove the defrost sensor, you can take a photo to see how it's connected and then you can refer back to this when installing a new one. You can use your small flathead to remove these plug covers. Then disconnect the plug. Remove this from the pipework and disconnect the wire. Now you can replace this with a new one and if you're unsure how to connect it, you can refer back to the photo you took earlier. You can now replace the evaporator cover and reconnect the two plugs. Now we can refit the four screws. Now you can place the two vent covers over the top two screws. Next we can refit the water bottle under the evaporator cover. And finally we can refit the drawers and shelves. And there you have it, how to fix your Samsung American style fridge freezer that's displaying the error codes 1E, 5E or SE. We hope that your fridge freezer is now up and running again. It's also important to ensure that your fridge freezer is running as safely as possible, so be sure to check out our video on important safety checks for your fridge freezer. Thanks for watching!